What's up guys and welcome back to the dungeon. The video of today is about the upgrade journey of what I call a value build. For me, a value build is a PC made with the best price performance part you can find actually in the market. This was a Ryzen 2600 with a V350 gaming free from Gigabyte, a cheap kit of 16 Gigabyte 3200 MHz C19, so uh, not uh, so fast, and uh, an RX 570, a very nice 1080p build for a 60Hz display. But now I want to turn it into a 1440p high refresh rate capable PC to play World of Warcraft in RAID. Finding the right balance is not an easy task. I'm going to change settings, components and benchmarks every step, so you can see along the way what makes a difference and what is a waste of money. The final system is what you can see here now, is a Ryzen 5 3600 with a MSI B450 Tomahawk Max with a kit of ballistic 16GB 3200MHz C16 tuned with Ryzen Duran calculator to 3800MHz C16 with a profile safe and a power color Radeon RX 5600 XT. But now, let's get to know better this build. Yesterday I played for almost 2 hours at 1440p, quality 10, and I was doing world quest, uh, leveling the clock, uh, all the stuff that you can do in solo to chill a bit. And uh, after 2 hours I had an average of 133 FPS, uh, with uh, the lows around 90. So to run uh, this, the display at 1440p, uh, 144Hz, this build is perfect, at least uh, for the solo part but Ride are a different beast. So now we are going to start uh, changing the components and show you the benchmark uh, step by step uh, what uh, I find out. This is our starting point. 79 FPS on average, 54 1% low and 49.1% low. That isn't bad, but I want more. The first thing that came to my mind was overclocking the CPU. It's fast, it's easy and it's free. It seems that the CPU speed isn't a bottleneck, I had the same averages and the same lows. We need to do more than that. Something that I saw in the past with Zen and Zen Plus is to change and tune the memory to be able to push a bit the CPU doing the job. Uh, for this task, I'm going to change now the memory from the HyperX Fury 3200 MHz C19 that I was in the build before with a kit of ballistic uh, that uh, can be easily overclocked to 3400 MHz, uh, more than 3400 MHz, uh, with C14 and tight timings. That is a good balance for the Zen and Zen Plus. Even with the memory overclocked, I'm stuck uh, at 79 FPS on average. The memory tuning is useful when uh, I have a high FPS, uh, so once again, I have to keep upgrading my system. Now I want to invest a bit more. I'm going to change the Ryzen 5 2600 and the uh, Gigabyte uh, AB350 Game Free to a Ryzen 5 3600 and the MSI B450 Tomahawk Max. Again, no luck. I gained only 2 FPS in the low area, so no difference when playing. I still have the same experience of the beginning. Now, since I have a very capable uh, memory kit, I'm going to overclock from the XMP profile to the 3800 MHz uh, safe from Ryzen DRAM calculator. 79 FPS. Again. I gained 2 FPS in the lows, but I definitely must do even more than this. Since it's very clear now that I'm GPU bound, I'm going to change the RX 5600 XT with this RX 5700 XT, and this is the 50th uh, anniversary edition, it's a factory overclocked card and is a very nice card. Finally, I have a good boost, with 97 FPS on average and 66 FPS of 1% low. Now the game ran much better, and I start enjoying my 144Hz display, but still, I want more. Here I have a 1080 Ti, this is the mini version, the mini ITX version, but trust me, uh, this performs exactly the same as the full length version, and also, if you want to build a system uh, that is a mini ITX, if you want to take it into your living room, this card is very nice, and even if it's small, it's not so loud. Another big bump. 111 FPS on average and 75 1% low. This is definitely a good performance to have in ride. But we are talking about an high end GPU that goes a bit over the design of this build. Probably I have to set a different expectation. 
since I want a good build, but I don't want to spend that amount of money. I bet you are surprised by this. The first thing we see is uh, that the upgrade from the 2600 to the 3600 was a good choice. 90 FPS on average was the maximum he was able to deliver. On the other hand, even the 3600 have limits and going past the 5600 XT isn't a good investment, at least for World of Warcraft. Just for comparison, I set the quality to 1 and we got 132 FPS on average. That is the maximum FPS this CPU can generate when not bottlenecked. I know, it's useless, but at least you know that we can't go higher than that. Now, since the 1440p 144Hz in ride is almost impossible with uh, this tire of build, a uh, price performance build, let's try something else. One of the good things about a high resolution display is the fact that you can always lower the game rendering resolution, but to keep the interface at full resolution. Let me show you the difference. Now I am at 1440p with the game uh, rendered at 1440p, but I can lower the game resolution to even a ridiculous one, and I still keep uh, the high resolution in my interface. So the look and feel of everything except the game uh, itself is much, much uh, better. But uh, let's take a look at the quality scaling. I guess you expected a better average, but this is not bad, especially at quality 7. If you have a high refresh rate display, you probably have also free sync, and the real difference perceived over 120 FPS starts uh, to get uh, less noticeable. Now, I bet you are a bit confused with all those benchmarks, but I will make it easier for you to see the big picture. Here we have the upgraded build with the 3600, the ballistic kit well tuned, and the 5600 XT. That is, in my opinion, the better performance price build right now. Rides are tough, and we see that uh, even if World of Warcraft is an old title, and most people still think that it runs on a potato PC, well, it don't. I'm a fan of big resolution. I use a 4K 144Hz display, but the jump from 1440p to 4K is not the same from 1080p to 1440p. This one is much bigger and definitely worth it if you have an old display and you find a good deal on a new one. The resolution difference is very clear to almost anyone, but the FPS is something a bit personal and I don't feel to express a universal opinion about it but I can tell you that uh, from my personal subjective experience that uh, when I'm above 100 FPS in ride, I can take the compromise of losing 10 FPS uh, and some detail over a smaller resolution hands down. So, my favorite setup is the 1440p with the quality 7 set as option for ride and quality 10 for everything else. To me, it's the best compromise, but again, this is very subjective and if you never owned a 4040p display, you have to see the difference with your own eyes. Once again, I hope that I gave you some useful information for your future builds. And if you are curious about how I test the system or how I do my benchmark here, especially in World of Warcraft, I'm now streaming Twitch. So you can find me there and I can answer questions if you have, or you can join my Discord server as always. And well, like the video if you like it, subscribe for more, and see you in the next one.